lift up the trumpet loud and let it ring Jesus is coming again cheer up you pilgrim be joyful and sing Jesus is coming again coming again coming again Jesus is coming again from Temple of Praise in the old capital Spanish town Jamaica we bring you and present to you revival time the radio outreach ministry of Temple of Praise we are so glad exceedingly glad happy thrilled delighted that you have invited us to come into your homes wherever you are thank you for welcoming welcoming us today thanks for letting us in call a friend and let them be your partners we bring you revival time god the holy ghost has pre us and anoint us to bring you a message of hope victory salvation and deliverance we're not playing church those of you who listens to us every week we don't play church i pull no punches afraid of no one i carry no baggage for anybody i carry no secret for anyone i am a trumpeter so take your neighbor quickly and say come on now let them go so let's go right now into a word preaching holy ghost anointed devil destroying yoke removing bible believing hold fashion foot stamping hand clapping holy ghost it's a time of prayer Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercies and his grace. In the mansion bright and blessed he'll provide. For us a place when we all get to kingdom. That's where we're going, kingdom. What a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout victory. Oh, sing that one. Just love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In that mansion, bright and glorious, he'll prepare for us.
in Psalm 23 and verse 5. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. In other words, radio family, from the second clause, the Lord is about to allow you to drink from your saucer, for your cup has overflown. The Lord bless you, radio family, and thank you for making it revival time another time. We thank God for all the listeners and the viewers on the internet and those of you who are present in the house of the Lord. Indeed, we are delightful and thankful to God for the many listeners who have tuned in week after week. We thank God for those of you who have written in, those of you who have called, and for those of you who continue to text us with your praise reports or with your requests. Please continue to let us know what God has been doing through you through these ministries. Revival Time reaches some of our listeners over there in St. Anne, Karen, Kemar, Lloyd, Siobhan, Dwight, and Suzette. Pray on, hold the faith, never let go, for God has not forgotten you. We celebrate with some of our listeners over there in Trelawney, Chantel, Shelley, Keisha, Miss Diandro, Bennett. God has heard your request. He sees what you are going through. Be reminded that it is only a test. Hold on and be strong. This too shall pass. We celebrate with some of our listeners in St. Catherine, Karen, Susan, Ricardo, Ernest, and Patricia. To give up is not an option. Neither is letting go the solution. Stand still and let God work in your situation. We thank God for the listeners in St. Elizabeth. Anton, Nicole, Lauren, Chantal, and Elizabeth. While there is life, there is hope. So open your mouth, speak to your situation, and the Lord will give you the victory. If you have made contact with us this week, Raider family, and you did not hear your names, rest assured that we here at Temple of Praise are praying for you and will continue to do so until your victory comes. This week's broadcast is number 1220. You can place your order by writing to us here at Revival Time, Post Office Box 261, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. That's Revival Time, Post Office Box 261, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. For our international family, you can write us at 145-30, 238th Street, Rosedale, New York, 11423. That's the international address, 145-30, 238th Street, Rosedale, New York, 11423. Our prayer lines remain and they're open. 757-2749. Call us at 757-2749 or 984-4398. 865-4357. We also have a text line and you can text us at 354 Six two six nine. That's three five four six two six nine. You can also visit our website at revivaltime.webs.com. That's revivaltime.webs.com. You can also email us at revivaltime70 at hotmail.com. Remember, radio family, in Genesis 26 it states. And as Isaac sowed in that land, and received in the same year an hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him, you too can receive your blessing. So I'm encouraging you today, sow, continue to sow, maximize your faith, and receive your overflow today. Stay tuned to the rest of the service, and be blessed. Give God a mighty praise, a mighty praise, a mighty praise, a mighty praise for all our radio family. We thank you for inviting us in today. There are over some 20, 22, 23 radio stations across Jamaica. But you have choose 
Best FM 100 this morning to listen to us. Your God's appointment is on your life. If you join us on the World Wide Web, we thank you for being our partner. And we celebrate you as usual. And you know we love you crazy from Temple of Praise. Stay tuned. There's a powerful, anointed, dynamic, supernatural, life-changing, hell-wrenching, devil-chasing word coming up on Revival Time. There's a woman of God, our guest singer in the house tonight, Sunday night from Temple of Praise. See Sister Noretta Lewis, you've heard on radio, you've seen her in vision. God has anointed her with a mighty voice to sing. These are the days of Elijah as she gets ready to release this word into your spirit tonight. Give her a good God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, this is our year of jubilee. This is our year of Jubilee. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus tonight. Come on. These are the days of Elijah. Declaring the word of the Lord. Oh, and these are the days of your servant Moses building a temple of praise. Oh, and these are the days of the harvest. The fields are as wide in your world. Still, we are the voice in the desert crying, preparing the way of the Lord. Behold, Shining like the sun And the trumpets go Lift your voice It's a year of jubilee And out of science Hill salvation Come Oh yeah Oh yeah Woo These are the days of physical The tribal to become in its flesh Oh and the of days of your servant David rebuilding a temple of praise. Oh, and these are the days of the harvest. The fields are as wide in your world. Still, we are the laborers in your vineyards, declaring the words of the Lord. Behold, he comes running on clouds, shining like a sun. of Jubilee and out of science hill salvation come how many persons know that this is our year come on come on come on there's no God like Jehovah 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 there's no God like Jehovah. 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 The Holy Ghost running on clouds, shining like the sun. And trumpets go. Shining like a sun 
standing for the word of the Lord please remain standing the undiluted word of God comes to us from the book of Genesis chapter 26 and we're going to put in at verse 12 through to 14 and Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold and the Lord blessed him and the man waxed great somebody shout waxed great I don't know about you, but I want to be great in the sight of the Lord. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. So he waxed great and then he became very great. So I'm moving on from great to greater. Somebody bless him. Verse 14 and appointed. For he had possession of flock somebody say blessing and possession of herd say blessing and great store of servants say blessing and the Philistines envied him the word of God for the people of God radio listeners those watching live via the net may I have your attention please just for a minute please I beseech you you may be getting ready to go off to church you may be driving your vehicle down the road but can you just stop for a while because I have something good to tell you there is a word coming your direction right now and I want you to zero in and tap into this word because it's gonna be a word that you have never heard before and it's going to be a word that's going to change your lifestyle the way you act think and the way you do things after today I challenge you in the name of almighty God so beloved with this message entitled overflow somebody say overflow Good God, I feel this already. Somebody say, overflow. I present to you Bishop Dr. G.G. Cooper in care of the blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Give the Lord praise. I say, give the Lord praise. When you prayed, when you prayed, Till your strength is all gone And your teardrops And your teardrops Keep falling all the day long Remember, Jesus cares and he knows just how much you can bear. He'll speak your name to someone today. Listen to me, church. Someone is praying. For you, oh, someone is praying for you. This is my friends. When it seems you're all alone and your heart. Would break in two. Remember someone. Come on, church. That's what I'm saying. 
Remember someone? I said, remember someone? Someone is praying for you. So for you. Temple of praise. We are praying for you. We are praying. Are you praying for somebody? For you. Cherub. We are praying. We are praying for you. Now, my father, thank you for this auspicious moment. Moment of inspiration, revelation, and impartation. Thank you for your divine presence upon this Sunday night service. Thank you for those on the web, those who are listening by radio. Those who will receive the CD, this TV. Let anointing be on the airwaves. Sound of God, touch those antennas. Touch fiber optic cables and satellite that transmit sounds into lives redefine time tonight let preaching be easy let revelation be ours let inspiration be ours and impartation be ours devil get under my feet stay under there silence the critics confuse the detractors muzzle the grumblers and the complainers scatter demons and devil jam the hear waves of hell confuse your radio system holy ghost from heaven right on tonight this morning for we praise you in christ's name and everybody say amen be seated famine somebody say famine the Bible said, the Bible, the Bible, the Holy. You know, I stopped calling it the Bible. I was on my way to Westmoreland for a funeral one day. And there's a Muslim preacher, I think, that is on this station. Muslim cleric. And you know why he, what, what he calls his Bible the Holy Koran. I got copies of the Koran in my library. But I have not, must confess, I have not read it to and I will not touch it nor criticize their Bible, the Holy Quran. And you Christians treat the Bible like another book. It is the holy word of the Almighty God giving glory in this house. Stay with me, son. When we're talking about our God, let every voice be lifted, every trumpet shout. Great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of his people. Overflow. Holy word of God declares that there was a famine in the day of our father Abraham. And there was another famine after him. The Bible said that Isaac his son was taking it upon himself to go down to Egypt. But God instructed him to go into another place. Somebody say, I'm following instruction. God the Holy Ghost said, I want you to go down to a place called Gerar. Gerar. Everybody said Gerar. Very in the land of the enemy, the Philistines. <laughs> How many know that God will drive you from the palace to Zarephath? When he wants a blessing, he'll drive you from Zarephath to Carmel. Elijah. So the Bible said the Holy Word of God, the Holy Scripture said that he went down to Gerar in the land of the Philistines. And the Bible said as he went down there the first year, somebody said, don't wait, don't wait, don't wait. The first year, the Bible said he sowed in the land. And six years later, 
<laughs> Some preachers will not touch Old Testament scripture because they can't handle it. But I get deep revelation out of it. I'm anointed to preach the entire book. In the same year, not six years later, some of you have been in the church for 12, 20 years and you have not received your harvest because from the first year, you have not engaged yourself into sowing. Held by your neighbor and says, so, so, so. Bible said in the first, holy word of God said in the first year, he sowed in the land. And in the same year, he received 55% harvest. What is it? A hundred fold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man was great and he went forward and he grew until he became very great. And he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds. And he had great stores of servants. But something is about to happen. Who oh, the pies of Mount Philistines, the greedy, covetous, envious Philistines. They envied him. You know why some folks have refused to sow? They're afraid of Philistines. Let me move fast because I'm going to preach tonight. Now, many of you in the church and those of you watching me, when I talk about the church, I'm not just talking temple of praise. Because if we are such a church and we have such problems at times, I cringe for them church that their pastor not rocking in these divine revelatory knowledge. That's why people flock to revival time and be late for church because revelatory knowledge and anointing is coming to them. So then throughout your life as a baby, as a young teenager, young adult, getting older, all some of us had had, we call it overflow, we have had some dew rain. Some little dew rain looked like rain was falling, but it's just night dew. Some of you in the spiritual order, and don't talk about the physical order, and I'm talking about spiritual order. You've had some raindrops. You have had some drizzles and some trickles. You have had uh, some little dew rain. And then we move up to flash floods. And we move up to depression. And we have a little category one or two hurricane, but it's not dangerous. And you get happy and you tell everybody how blessed you are. And God give you a little two bedroom and you walk all over the place and bless. Tell everybody how your house is big and you never know what it is to live in a five bedroom. Shema, you drive a little old dilapidated car, car, break down every five seconds. And you talk about a wonderful automobile you have. Why should the wicked enjoy it and drive it new while you pick up the old broken down dilapidated ones? Tell somebody I need my new, 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 new blessing. Oh, sit down there. If the devil can drive a new Mercedes Benz, so can the people of the living God. If the devil and his gang can drive a new Pajaro, Pajaro, so can the man of God. Some of you are talking about prosperity message. Yes, we make no bones about it our god is a prosperous god he paved his street with gold our god is a flamboyant god he makes his road out of gold walls of jasper topaz and chrysolite samphire and the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous the wealth of the world belongs to the people of God. You can stay there breaking your chest and having a nightmare over the church. Uh, when them jug peddlers and them rum head and jug head, amen, when they acquire wealth through devious means and, and destroy the lives of millions of people, you don't talk about it. But soon as God's people who serve a great Big, wonderful Jehovah Jireh soon as God start to bless us you start to analyze us you ain't seen nothing yet oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you ain't seen nothing yet excuse the English so then sisters castle 
in the spiritual order we have had the drizzle and the flood and the hurricane and we have the tornado and the philistines are envious they talk about the church every day on talk show the church the church the church why don't you talk about them wicked <laughs> blackmailers them bankers ripping you off I'm talking about interest rate look at the credit card rate all they are after is first quarter and second quarter profit you're not hearing what I'm saying I'm talking to the world they're not after helping their customer they're after profits profit profits some of them are rip off, rip off, rip off, downright rip off. They use computer and rip us off in the name of profit. But they have not have a legal overflow. Their overflow is illegal because they rob you. They give you eight percent interest, and when they're lending you, they give you a twenty. They lend you 10,000 and when you pay it back it's 20,000. And you want the service of the church for nothing. You want us to bless our, your dead for five hours and you don't want to put anything in the offering plate but $50. When our light bill comes to 50,000 a month, you only want to put 150. But when you're lending us, you lending us at a overkill rate. But God is going to take care of that. Somebody get happy and say, God going to take care of that. Oh, you see them. Uh, my foundation, I'm getting dangerous, Sister Castle. We have had the trickle, the drizzle, the, the, the tornado. But we have not had an overflow. What I'm after in my life this year and at Temple of Praise, we have declared 2012 according to the leading of the Holy Ghost, a year of divine overflow. Now stand on your feet and stretch out your hands and turn around and declare 2012 a year of overflow in my life. Get up in your house. Get up in your house. God bless you. Be seated. Eat your heart out, devil. You don't believe in prosperity. Stay poor, dejected, oppressed, oppressed, depressed. And be a beggar. And talk about your God is Jehovah Jireh. Tell the devil, eat your heart out. Tell the Philistines, get used to me being blessed. Don't talk to me, talk to the devil. I'm not the devil. You ain't seen nothing yet. Excuse the English, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm talking to the Joshua's and the Caleb's. I'm not talking to dumb heads. I'm talking to Joshua's and the Caleb's. <laughs> Tell somebody I'm off to my mountain. I'm off to my grapes. I'm off to my olives. Oh, you were relaxing till my eyes catch, eh? I miss you. <laughs> overflow. Watch overflow to be filled beyond capacity. Talk to your neighbor to be filled beyond capacity as a container or a waterway. Shout overflow while I preach. Overflow to flow or run over the top. To flow or run over the top or the brim or the bank. To have countless supply be super abundant a holy ghost tsunami an act of 
overflowing. Something that flows over as an excess. Somebody shout excess. Somebody shout plenty. Plenty more than sufficient. Ample supply. Somebody shout abundance. Bountiful. Plentiful. Adequate. Supply. Can finish it on one broadcast. Somebody shout plenty of supply of food. Yield an abundant, fruitful, plenteous harvest. So those of you with your little spiritual tin cup. Send for the cabinet. Some of you inchmen tell the Empress, our Prime Minister. Bring the cabinet to Templar praise. The government is broke. Jamaica is messed up. The other one messed it up. And if this one don't care for they're gonna mess it up too. We are stone broke. You need a man of God to lay hands on the finance minister, the planning minister. Every minister need a, a number 10 anointing to get it right. Somebody said, get it right, get it right, get it right. The other one mess it up. It was messed up before this one come mess it up. And the other one come mess it up. And who suffer? The Jamaican people. Get yourself here to the man of God. Let the prophet lay hands on you and pray an anointing of overflow upon this government, upon this government, upon this leadership. We are stone broke. Famine. I'm going to preach. Set your cup up. Famine. In Greece. I preach in Thessaloniki and Macedonia. But sad to say, Greece is stone broke. Italy's next. Portugal is coming. France is getting there. Israel, uh, Ireland, England is getting there too. And the only prosperous country in the in the in the in the, in the Europe in the European League is Germany and all the countries in Europe are depending on Germany and if Germany continue to give like she's giving she's gonna get broke too get ready I'm gonna preach America is coming out of a great re depression recession but I hear the Holy Ghost saying it is in famine it is in famine that you sow it is in famine that the word of God will come to his people in 2nd crying 2nd Kings 7 and verse number 1 anybody here preaching with me and Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, <laughs> There's famine all over Samaria and Israel. Uh, but tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, about this time, the famine 
shall be over a measure of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel and two measure of barley for a shekel in the gates of Samaria and it came to pass as the man of God spoke to the king to measure a barley for a shekel and to measure a fine flour for a shekel in the gates of Samaria somebody say with me the man of God is about to speak a prophetic prolific word over temple of praise that will reach around the world and as I we declare as you sow your seed in the kingdom of God your harvest your overflow your plenty your abundance your excess your extreme extra express and excess is coming set the word of almighty God giving praise come up church come up come up abundant life John 10 10 tell somebody I'm living the abundant life which is called overflow life the thief cometh not come on angels bring my anointing now the thief cometh not but for the steal and for the kill and for the destroy but Jesus the Yeshua Amashia he said I am come hear me a temple of praise Yeshua has come that you might have life and have it more abundant somebody touch your neighbor and said I'm getting ready to live the abundant life Ooh, abundant blessing is coming to people that keep the commandments of God Deuteronomy 28 then the Lord shall ex verse 9 shall establish you to be a people unto himself and as he had sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways somebody say I'm going to walk in the way of God verse 10 and all the nation of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid tell somebody Philistines shall be afraid poison mount shall be afraid Amalekites shall be afraid iniquity worker hope your worker necromancy people shall be afraid of you verse 11 I'm talking about overflow and the Lord shall make thee plenteous somebody had a plenteous in goods tell somebody God is getting ready to bless me with plenty in the fruit of my body and the fruit of my cattle and the fruit of my ground in the land of Jamaica which he swear to give us somebody say overflow is coming in 2012 and the Lord shall open the good treasures the heaven to give you rain in the season and to bless all the work of thine hand and tell somebody 
I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready to lend. I'm getting ready to lend, I'm getting ready to lend. Getting ready to lend, I'm getting ready to lend. Getting ready to lend, I'm getting ready to lend. And not borrow. Tell somebody blessing is coming my way. Somebody declare overflow is coming my direction and the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail too long commandment people commandment people I spin down at the foot of the ladder tell that lady in the office you occupy my chair tell that gentleman I don't feel the church you're not receiving what I'm saying tell that devil tell that Philistine move over tell the Amalekite move over tell that Jebusite the Lord is getting ready to drive you out so that the people of the living God can possess the land all those of you occupying my space and holding me back and having your foot in my neck tell hope your worker haul you up at the foot of the scale up at the head of the scale and you're working witchcraft to keep you in the office tell them we're coming the people of god is coming can i find somebody to preach to can i find a joshua the people of the living god we're coming we're coming to take over we're coming to take over the people of the living god we are taking over we are taking back everything that the devil watch me soon has stolen If you don't believe it, sit down. If you don't believe it, sit down. If you don't believe it, sit down. Thou shalt be above and not beneath. Thou shalt lend and not borrow. If thou shalt hearken to the commandments of the Lord, thy God that I preach to you this day and if you observe and do them overflow 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 100 percent hundred fold miracle hundred fold breakthrough hundred fold deliverance is coming Shout, shout overflow, drop your hands and shout overflow, in your house, in the prison, in the hospital, around your radio, around your computer, shout it in the east, shout it in the west, shout it in the north, shout it in the south, overflow. How many believe? Ask your neighbor, do you believe it? I'm going to preach right here. Do you think it's just money we're after? Listen to what I'm asking God for. And I'm asking God to give it on Temple of Praise and all my radio family and my watchers. Shall overflow in wisdom. You're going to preach with me. Shall overflow in knowledge. Say God, Holy Ghost, give me a overflow. Touch your head. Touch your forehead. Shall overflow in wisdom overflow in knowledge overflow in comprehension overflow in ability 
overflow in the spirit in the knowledge of the spirit overflow in my financial welfare overflow in my financial operation overflow in dispensing the word overflow in the analyzing the things of God overflow in my physical life you're not preaching me temple of praise overflow in my mental capacity no dumb church no dumb thinking overflow in my mental faculty Shout! overflow in my grades at school overflow overflow in acquiring the things that the enemy has stolen from me say Lord Say, Lord, I need an overflow. In my singing ministry, in my singing ministry, stand up there if you don't want to tell God. I'm preaching the word into you. Stand up there like a broomstick. The broom can't sweep until you move the broom. Overflow in my selling. Overflow in my business. Overflow at my workplace. Overflow. Anointing, anointing, overflow, anointing. Come up, church, come up. Overflow, overflow, overflow. In wisdom to call things that are not as though they are say overflow run your hand over your body and say overflowing good health good health overflowing my health overflowing my health overflowing my health overflowing my health <laughs> you don't just want to have good health you want to have overflow health good health them doctors are getting rich them ultrasound specialists are getting rich them EG EG ECG people are getting rich while you're sucking through the wooden spoon. The scat scan people are getting wealthy. And the x-ray people are getting wealthy. And the gynecologists are getting wealthy. And the ultrasound people are getting wealthy. While you're feeding through a wooden leaking spoon. Shut overflow. Oh, 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 oh. Shut good health, good health, good health. Holy for people that hate Bishop Gigi.
but millions adore me. Shout over flow in wealth, 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 Lift your hand and declare, I decree and declare in the name of El Helion and in the name of the all powerful, all wealthy, all sufficient, abundant super abundant you mongerous abundant God that the year 2012 is my year a financial breakout breakthrough and break forth tell the devil eat your heart out and dress back and keep away and get used to me being blessed living in the abundance living in the overflow stretch your hands up it's Live in your pauperization and dine it if you want, but I'm destined for greatness. I'm destined to be blessed. I'm built to last. I'm built to stand. Almighty God, Yeshua Amashia, the great abundant God of abundance, God of plenty, God of the overflow, God of prosperity. I summon you on this network that everyone that is believing you for their overflow and sowing into the kingdom of God give them a hundredfold blessing this year 2012 we break the curse of poverty we break the curse of lack and insufficiency we call the overflow of God over temple of praise on on the network in Jesus mighty name go ahead and help yourself but time is gone and revival time for this week I want every revival time listener to send me an overflow to keep an, a seed rather to keep this ministry going and I'm going to believe God with you for an overflow I'm going to be preaching this over and over so text me right now 354 6269 354 6269 and said pastor I am sending you shortly an overflow offering tell us how much tell us where your name tell us your name Tell us your name and where you text him from. And said, I am sending an overflow offering to help you carry revival time. Until next week at the same time, through the facilities of these stations that bring you revival time. And on behalf of my ministers, the technicians, the musicians, and the revival time family, we'll see you an overflow revival time next week. Shout overflow. It's coming. We're a little bit over our time, but it's coming. That's why I tell you, you gotta come out by 6 30. It's coming. Lift your hand and declare over yourself. Don't look in my morning. Look and tell God to the hills. Someone's coming to hell.
Excuse your bishop. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. My God, somebody that believed the word with me. Not everybody I doubt is in here. I've got some believers in here. Step out and tell the enemy it's coming. Hey, hey, hey! Amen. Oh, I'm going to be here this week, Tuesday. Every Tuesday for the past three weeks, I'm here. I want everybody. Get a photograph of your family. April is radio month. Family month. We're going to be laying out. Paste it. Paste it on a piece of cardboard or something. We're going to be laying out around the altar family members. We're going to pray over them till everyone be saved. Overflow coming. We're going to be breaking family curses. Put your hand on your kimbo. Excuse the English. Put your hand at your kimbo. And with an attitude. Look up and say. It's time my overflow. Come you know. Son, the camera won't fall over, you know. The camera won't fall over. If you set it, it'll stay there. Put your hand on your kimbo and declare, my over, it's time, my overflow, come. Hold on. Put on an attitude and talk to yourself like you're coming from mad house. But you're not mad. And she a long time me a wait on for me God. For my blessing you know. Tell yourself I'm not going to die until the blessing come. Hold on. Hold on. And tell yourself I can't die now because I don't have no money to bury me. And I don't want my generation have no trouble for burying me. I don't want nobody beg, beg for burying me. And I don't want to die. And Sister Cooper can't live in comfort for the rest of her life. And my children have to be scraping up to live. Therefore, my overflow has to come. Said, <laughs> devil, you've been upon me too long. My overflow has to come in the name of Jesus. Where's your house plan? Where's your house plan? Oh, yes, you don't get to overflow, sit down, sister. My God. You sit down so long and sit and sit down on your lap. My God, you know, say overflow night. Throw the picnic on your shoulder. Get up, everybody. You poor and destitute and pauperized, living in lack. Too long.
take out your pen and write an overflow offering. Somebody has written that you mongrel overflow offering. I don't know where they're going to get it. You want your house finished. Preacher need a new car. OJ need a new car. I need a new vehicle. All of you need vehicles and you need to change. We've been down at the ladder. We don't just come by. We, we don't just come drive V6. We've been driving some old dilapidated something. So we have paid our price. Some of you get few license and you learn as license. December 31st, 2012. I will not be like I am in the month of February. My, I, may I tell you? Write your overflow off and I know you can't give it tonight. God, I'm sowing a seed, and before I close, give it to me. I am going to pledge mine. Somebody started that means God, the Holy Ghost is in the house. You don't want to come with me now. Help yourself. Eat your heart out, devil, because you don't see nothing yet at temple. Have praise when the Jasways and the Caleb start to move into the prolific supernatural magnificent word and the Miriams and the Abijah earth opened and swallowed them up and the Caleb's them going up to Mount Ebron you sit down on me now you don't hear me preach that a week ago two weeks going up from a mountain stretch your hands up with a Stand here with me, woman of God. There's nothing the devil can do. Is, 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 is Zacchaeus in the house? Zacchaeus, you here? Yes. I appoint him deacon. Then he move up to evangelist. Then he move up to pastor. I have his picture as a little boy following me. And for years and years, they've been living in a rented house. They are the last preacher in the circuit to own a house. Shall not bow. Shall lend. <laughs> Declare it, sister, as God says. That's what the Lord, that's what I just preached. And this is their house, Tyka. This is the drawing at last. Zacchaeus the castle and Lady Castle. I have the blueprint. Eat your heart out, devil. We're over a little bit tonight, but we're going home. Point to your house spot. I don't know where is your house spot. I don't know how some of you find it so quick, but you find your house spot. <laughs> some of you have to remove from where you are. Tell the devil in the name of Jesus the Christ. 2012 is my year of divine overflow. And I shall not die. But live and declare. Thank you for this overflow. Provide the money for the parish council. For provide money for bricks and mortar and steel and cement. Tiles and windows and doors. In the name of Yeshua. Lord God, a temple of praise tonight is a launching night. Somebody declare launching night over my life. Declare I'm releasing my CD to play over hell. Overflow. Say, devil, get, get ready. Because I'm going to play it until hell get mad. Overflow, overflow. 
overflow. Bring it up on the keyboard. Overflow, overflow. Overflow, overflow, overflow. Overflow, overflow. Overflow, overflow. Get the microphone, boy, and back me up. Overflow, overflow. Overflow, overflow, overflow. Overflow, overflow, overflow. Overflow, overflow, overflow. Overflow, overflow. Overflow, 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 Praise the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Most righteous Heavenly Father. Tonight again we want to give you praise. We want to give you honor. We want to magnify your name. Hallelujah. Because you are worthy to be praised. You are altogether lovely. You're more than enough for us tonight, Jesus. And we magnify your beautiful name tonight. We want to thank you, God, for your man's servant who has poured out his heart unto us. We want to thank you, Lord, that we are living in a time when overflow becomes a part of our lives. And we want to praise you tonight, God, that as we present ourselves unto you, a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto you it becomes our reasonable service and god help us tonight god that even as we hear these words ringing in our hearts that we will make ourselves ready mighty god for what you are about to do in our lives help us god that we clean up our lives in the name of jesus help us god that we turn to you with all our hearts with all our understanding with all that we have in you in us because you are depending upon us tonight dear god and because you are depending upon us like god we are believing you one more time that you're gonna move in our lives you're gonna move you're gonna clean up our lives when we allow you to do so whatever are the obstructions dear god almighty we are looking unto you dear god to turn our lives around mighty god because one of these days you're gonna put in your appearance and oh god will we, we spend our long eternity what will we hear when we stand before you will it be well done the good and faithful servant or will we hear depart from me i know you not have mercy upon us tonight jesus and help us to think on these things god help us to think on these things tonight jesus what is it about this overflow that we are talking about god what kind of overflow are we expecting god is it overflow for the better or is it an overflow for the worse? Jesus, have mercy upon us, God. Have mercy upon us, your children, tonight. Help us to set our lives in order, Jesus, so that the overflow can come, can come our way and that we can receive, dear God, what you have in store for us. And Father, as we are about to go, we ask you, dear God, to lead us, to direct us, cover us. Cover us, dear God. You said when you see the blood, you're going to pass over. Pass over us one more time. And as we take our taxis and our buses, God, we ask that angels and assignment will cover us, dear God. Will lead us and will direct us. And even as we sleep tonight, God, that we're going to think on these words, dear God, and we're going to make it a part of our lives. Lord Jesus, have mercy upon us now, Jesus. Guide and protect us as we give you thanks. In Jesus' name. Somebody give him praise. 
those of you who have set up overtime to be with us on the World Wide Web, we celebrate you from Temple of Praise. Thank you for being with us until next week at the same time. When we bring you another release from Temple of Praise, you, this is your radio pastor, Gigi Cooper, reminding you that according to God's prophetic release, set yourself ready because overflow is coming your direction. Good night, everybody. God bless you. Grab your handbag, whatever you have. If you, I'm going to be here this Tuesday.